At the whistle stop in just a short stroll from the RCA Dome, Steve Hackworth is getting ready for the crowds. I don't think we'll ever have a game this big again unless it's a Super Bowl here. Compared to a run-of-the-mill home game, the Colts Patriots mega match is expected to at least double his weekend business. I've stocked up on uh, extra beer, extra liquor, you know, uh, keep plenty of supplies for a game like this. You don't want to run out. At the Slippery Noodle Inn, Colts weekends are always busy, but this weekend is blockbuster big. I'd say five times more easily of beverage, food, everything. On Sunday, the entire staff is working. Says Bowman, all 60 people will be there when the doors open two hours earlier than normal. We've been talking about it all week, have meetings about it, and getting all geared up. Um, Everybody that works here at the Noodle will be working that day. At Giorgio's Pizza on Monument Circle, the Colts Patriots weekend is a chance to make up for an earlier lost opportunity. That Thursday night was not very pleasure. On Colts opening night, September 6th, huge crowds gathered near Giorgio's restaurant, but he didn't get much business. They block everybody off the circle. Nobody really can get into the store. Ironically, Giorgio's is not open Sunday, but he hopes to do extra business on Saturday. We'll be prepared for those events all the time. And we sell extra food for all those events we have in the city. An added bonus for business this time is that the game is at 4.15 p.m., so customers will eat and drink before the game and do the same afterward.